Hello friends, welcome to Cool IT Help. This is the video for the uninstallation of IntelliJ IDEA completely from Windows 10. Let's begin. The first important note, the proper way to remove the IntelliJ IDEA depends on the method you have used for the installation. Means if you have installed as a package, then the way will be different for the installation. If you have installed the IntelliJ IDEA as a standalone instance, then this method will work 100% for you. Let's do it together. The first step. In the first step, we have to go to the Windows search. Then we have to type app and features. After that, we have to select. Then we have to type IntelliJ in the search box. Let me do it. So we have just typed app and features. We got this Windows. And on this window, we have this search box. Just type IntelliJ and you will see one app found. So this is the standalone version that I have installed. Click on the uninstall button. And soon you will see this small window for the uninstallation. At this window, you have to check these two boxes here. Okay and click on the uninstall button soon you will see this progress bar and this progress bar will take 10 to 15 second maximum to finish everything okay the installation is successfully done this is reported by this window and we are here to close okay after that one more task is pending for us now we need to remove two directories which are very important to delete for this we have to go to the location manually then we will delete those directories so guys these two directories will be found in the app data folder let me take you there and i will guide you how you will reach on that location so open and go to the c drive when you go inside the c drive click on the users folder in the user folder you will have your username in my case, I have MacWin, which is my username for the Windows. So I am going inside this one. In your case, you can select your one. Now at this place, you have to look for the app data folder. Basically, app data folder is a hidden folder type. So generally, this will not be visible. So you have to go to the view menu item. On this place, you can go on the right hand side here. You will see one checkbox. Please check it. Once you checked it, you can see the app data folder right in front of you. Okay. Now we can go inside this folder, app data folder. And here we have to go to the first one, roaming. Go inside and search for the JetBrains folder. Here we got it, JetBrains, go inside and look for the folder starting with the idea, IntelliJ idea. And if you see this kind of folder, you can just delete that folder. It is not necessary that to delete the rest of the files because we are targeting only on the IntelliJ idea. If you have any other uh, ID installed, which is given by the JetBrains, so that will impact. So we will not delete rest of the files. In my case, I have just installed only IntelliJ IDEA. So I have deleted those files as well. But you can focus on the only folder starting with the name of IntelliJ IDEA. Okay, so we have deleted the first folder successfully. Now going back to the app data folder back here. Now we are going inside the local and here also we will get JetBrains folder go inside and you will find one more folder with the name idea or this can be different because the different naming conventions has been used for the different uh, version of IntelliJ idea so see you will see this folder just delete it make sure you are deleting only the folder which is related to the IntelliJ idea Okay guys, so we have successfully deleted those directories and we are done. Now it's time to restart your system and it's completed. So guys, in the fourth step, 
I hope this method will work for you and you can like this tutorial. Also, you can subscribe to learn more about the IntelliJ idea. And for now, thanks for watching. Cool IT help.